Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got a quick video for you, a really helpful one, I think. I'm gonna be showing you how to make Vegas Pro render at least twice as fast, and I'm gonna show you how and why. But let me start this off by telling you I'm editing on my laptop, which isn't designed specifically for video editing like my PC desktop is. This laptop is really good, 16 gigs of RAM, 8th gen i7, onboard AMD graphics card. It's a really good multimedia machine, but again, it's not designed specifically for video editing. And this is why this trick works on this laptop. So I have open right here one of my Scrapyard Plays episodes. It's the Human Fall Flat episode 3. I already put it up on YouTube, so you can check that out if you want. I'll put that in the card and it's about ten and a half minutes long roughly right around that area ten and a half and if I want to render it let's do that drag it file render as let's go ahead and do test and do render it's going to render like normal so I'm going ahead and rendering this ten and a half minute clip I'm gonna skip ahead to where the approximate time remaining levels out so you can see exactly how long it's gonna take Okay, so we're coming up on the 4% mark and it leveled out at about an hour. An hour to render a 10 and a half minute video. That's pretty long and normal time should be roughly around like 15, 20 minutes, something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it and then show you the trick. If you look and see, Vegas has all these thumbnails previewing your clips down here in your timeline. Now, if you have a thousand splits like me, you don't really need to see that. So what you can do is on the right scroll bar, if you double click it, it collapses all of that for you. And once they're all collapsed, Vegas doesn't use any more resources to show you the thumbnail preview, giving you more resources to render properly. So now that we have them collapsed, let's go ahead and re-render it. The same thing, file, render, and we'll do test and start the rendering process. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the same percentage it was at, roughly five or six percent. It said it was still gonna take an hour. So you can see it's already going much faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, so we just hit past the four mark, now we're five percent, and you see it's at 44 minutes. It's actually going down by chunks because Vegas is realizing little by little that it can render more and more. So the time started off like it was gonna take a while and now it just dropped down four more minutes right there. You see it's going down much faster than it was when the thumbnails were visible. So with that easy little trick right there, all you gotta do is hide the thumbnails and you will be able to render faster. On this one, it looks like I'm rendering one and a half times faster, almost two times faster, and that's gonna vary between different computers. And this is gonna most likely work better on a laptop that's using a processor and or an onboard graphics card to render. You won't see much of a difference with a dedicated computer, but you will see just a little bit of a difference. But it's nothing too big when you have a dedicated graphics card. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that tutorial. If that helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because that'll help me out, and that'll let me know what you guys wanna see next. Also, if you want, you can check out my Patreon. The more patrons I have, the more frequent I can do my giveaways, and the better the prizes will be. I also sell shirts and stuff on Amazon and TeePublic, so all the links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.